Hello, and welcome back to uh, another Mark Harville Art Painting Tutorial. Uh, this is part five of our five-part uh, episodes for completing this particular painting right here. So we're at the very final episode uh, for completing this painting, and I'm pretty excited to be able to jump into it today. So I uh, appreciate um, you viewing this. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy um, these tutorials, and always happy to hear your comments as well. Uh, let me talk to you a little bit about what I'd like to accomplish here today. Uh, what we need to do is, now that we've sort of mapped out these two foreground uh, trees, um, I'd like to go ahead and block in the uh, canopy of leaves for these trees. Uh, I may add a little bit more color right here on some of the trunks just to get them a little darker and uh, we'll just make sure that everything is nice and blocked in and ready to go and then uh, we'll be able to um, go ahead and start adding our further detail. So let's go ahead and jump into this painting.
just going to sort of model on with that liquid, that black and that green. I'm going to model on some dark areas. Now since this is a very transparent color, it's going to pick up some of that um, underpainting and kind of darken it up a little bit more. I'm just kind of making kind of a, a little swoop, kind of forming, roughly forming a um, kind of a leaf. You don't want them to all go the same direction. Some of them are just going to be a, a random swoop. Some will overlap but you want to give them a little bit more shape. It's not simply just kind of a dot. It's not, it's not that so much. It can be. And it's not so much just kind of a, a comma, though it can be, but trying to just give it a little bit of shape and variety You're going to see these leaves a lot better. They'll be broader because of the plane that we're on. Because we are on a much closer plane, we're going to see that better. And it's going to be more distinguishable.
so we are going to be we're going to be going into um, bringing some sap, a little white, bring a little yellow. These won't have nearly as much. Won't be quite as bright as what we were just working, but certainly they'll, they'll have enough. So, so yeah, we've kind of taken that uh, sap green, the yellow, a little blue, and a little white, and we'll start right over here. There are some basic kind of little details that we want to kind of have coming out. And the same concept kind of applies. I'm going to try to sort of create little, little fans. Because they're going to be kind of splayed out, just like a, you know, certain leaves, like uh, maple leaves, sort of splay out. And um, I'm not an expert with trees, but and I couldn't even begin to tell you uh, from the photograph what type of tree this is, but it has certain leaf structures and patterns that we need to kind of follow. So we're gonna go ahead with the interest of time, and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward our video so we can capture all this. Artistic license. This um, my photograph here, and uh, let me just kind of show this photograph. 
So here's what I've been working from. And for the most part, I'm pretty true to the, to the photograph. But here in the shadow region, I think what would look really great is if I brought in sunspots even within the shadow region here. And so I'm thinking it, it would look like a nice bit of contrast. We've got a lot of good contrast in the painting, but to bring in sunspots down here, I think would just look really great. And while I've still got this kind of this pile of bright limeish yellow green that we've mixed, I think randomly just picking out some areas that I think could really look great. Because you know, there's a lot of, there's just a lot of um, open places on the, uh, in the canopy of these trees that that I think would, you know, sunlight would really filter through and um, I'm going to bring a little more green to that. I think that's a little yellow. So just having some random areas that we might actually be seeing Just seeing a little bit of sun glow. So that's the, um, that's the painting, and I'm glad you could uh, join me for that. I hope that was very helpful to you, and we'll look forward to uh, 
jumping into a brand new painting again real soon. So uh, again, if you've not already subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, I'll look forward to presenting a brand new painting here real soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.